Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today is day 15 of my advent calendar and this one is a beer or a company sorry that I haven't done in a while and it's a collaboration with another company that I haven't done in a while and this is Squawk and Electric Bear uh, and this is the I, I don't know I'm not even going to try and pronounce that uh, anyway, it's a hoppy stout at five. I've seen it somewhere. Where did I see it? Oh yeah, six point five percent. There it is. Um, and it's a hoppy stout. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's. I think it's got something to do with this bar. Um, yeah, this is day fifteen. Uh, there's no guff on the back um, because for some reason they don't put guff on the back. And anyone who wants to know where they're from, um, Wylam. Oh, sorry, Squawk. Why I said Wylam? Squawk are from um, Manchester, so anyone in the M12 area, have a look around, see if they go to tap room. But yeah, that's the can. It's quite a nice little art style. It looks like a bird looking for a meal, and there's a bird there in some trees. Anyway, it looks really cool, but I'm not here to do can art. It is a vegan... I nearly dropped it. It is a vegan beer. It says that literally... There, look how tiny that is. Um, doesn't really have it plastered anywhere else except in that little little dot that you can't even see compared to Squawk and Electric Brew or Electric Burr. There's just a dot and you wouldn't think of anyone. But it's it's a vegan beer. Um, but anyway, it says pour gently, may contain sediment. But besides that, oh, all well done. It's gone past its best before date. Its best before date was the 4th of September 2022. And it's currently the 15th of December 2022. So it's just over three months out of date. But it shouldn't really matter. Um, anyway, let's crack it open and see what we've got, shall we? I don't think I've ever had a hoppy stout before. Because um, stouts tend to be malty and dark and bitter. And hops tend to be light and fruity and not bitter. So I guess we'll find out. Right. Just get rid of that. There's a lot of carb clung to the glass, so I'll just that'll do. I can smell that. Um, so we've got a very, very dark brown beer next next to jet black, but it's brown. You can see it there with a very tanned head. It looks like Pepsi or Coke, uh, Coke or Dr Pepper or something like that. It looks very, very lively. Let's get smell and see what we get, shall we? It smells sugary, like really sweet, sickening, not, not sickeningly sweet sugary, but like sugary, sugary. There's some malt in there, some roasted malt. Sort of a smoky tobacco smell to that as well, actually. But it's got this really, really sweet sugary smell to it, like Coke or Pepsi or something like that. It smells interesting. Um, let's go mouthful for body and carb. Carbs medium, body. Uh, eh, carbs light medium, going medium. It's, it's there. I can't really tell. Um, body's light. Let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. is strangely satisfyingly good um it's dark and bitter but then it's also sugar and sweet and interestingly nice that's strange i don't know what to think of that in a good way like it's it's just really really interesting So, first thing I get, roasted malts, uh, along with that, again, smoky tobacco, sort of, like, fresh tobacco, not like a cig tobacco, uh, but fresh tobacco-y, um, smoky taste. That's throughout the beer, that's present throughout the beer. It's a nice, strong backbone to the beer, nice and dark, smoky, bitter, roasted, really nice and dark, um, 
on top of that, you've got a floral taste to it. Um, it it's, it's, yeah, floral, I guess is the best way to, to say. It's sweet, but not fruity sweet or like sugary sweet. It's that sort of sweetness that, pardon me, it's that sweetness that comes with sort of floral um, flavours, which is quite nice. It does have a sugary sweetness in there at the end of the beer. But in that middle bit, it's very, very, very floral. Um, again, it's one. Of, it's another one of these beers. It reminds me of Tartarus, um, Jasmine, Hibiscus. That sort of spice, floral taste. Um, it's really, really nice. That goes, and like I said, the sugary, sweet taste comes. It's literally just a kick of sugar right at the end. Uh, a kick of sweetness. And then it go, that fades back into your roasted malts and that smoky tobacco flavour um, and then that all fades into this really really dry, it is dry it's like the Sahara Desert in my mouth right now it's so dry um, yeah, that goes it's really really dry and it's slightly, only slightly bitter but it's interesting because I've not had a stout like this before Usually the stouts I have are really, really sugary, really sweet, um, caramelly, chocolatey, stuff like that. Really, really sugary, sweet. And then other ones I've had are really dark and really, really like roasted, smoky, dark flavours. I've never had one that's got that sweetness of sugar and, fla and flowers and um, spices mixed in with that dark, smoky flavour. It's... If I have, I've probably not reviewed it properly, but this is one of the more interesting concepts to a stout. They've not took it and gone one way or the other. It's sort of a blend of the both. It's in the middle. It's really, really interesting. It's nice, interesting. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoy this. I think it is fantastic, but I don't think it's going to be for everyone, and I think that's going to be the issue. Um... I personally love it. I think it's great. But it's whether it's down to you. I could give this a 9 or 10. And you could probably turn around and give it a 1 or 2. It's it's one of them. I think it'll be... Uh, a preferenced? Yeah, I think it'll be a select taste. That's what I think it is. Anyway. I'm going to go away and enjoy this. Because I really like this. Uh, so far this calendar has been really good. And again, I have not bought any of these beers myself. I've not. I don't know what I'm getting. I'm just opening them and getting them. Um, they've all been bought for me, all been wrapped up, and given a little sticker with a date. Uh, that doesn't have it. I thought it did. Um, but they've all been given a little sticker with a date. I'm just opening them in the morning, sticking them in my fridge, and then reviewing them at night. I don't know what I get, but this is another really good one. So, anyway, um, so Squawk and Electric Bars. Yus, 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 I don't know. Anyway, Hoppy Stout at 6.5%. Um, I think I can safely give that... Let me give it another mouthful, and I think I'll judge it. I think I'm going to safely give that a 9. I really enjoy this beer. Um, even though it is past its best before date... I don't think that really affects it. I think it's still really good. Um, yeah, I really enjoy it. I think, it, like I say, it'll be down to you whether you enjoy it or not, preference. But yeah, 9 out of 10. Well done, Squawk. Well done, Electric Bar. Very, very nice beer. Um, if you've had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think, if you like it, if you don't. If you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Squawk and Electric Bar down below. Um, you'll be able to get it off one website or the other. <laughs> Pardon me. But if you want some of one, not the other... Um, or you've not had one but you've had the other I'll leave both brewers down below anyway just so you can give it a go if you like the video though thumbs up, thumbs down all that usual stuff if you want to subscribe consider doing so because the show must go on etc etc so on and so forth and I'll see you later